Friends, in the technical analysis world, you will rarely find an indicator capable of presenting the historical volatility, signal potential breakouts, reversals, pullbacks, or identify overbought and oversold signals all at once. This video focuses on Dongqin channels, a less famous but still handy trading indicator. The Dongqin channels indicator comprises three lines that help show price volatility, trend breakouts, reversals, and potential overbought oversold market conditions. It consists of three separate bands generated by moving average calculations. The central part of the indicator is the mid-range band. You also have the lower and upper bands on the outside. The upper one shows the highest price of the security, while the lower one represents the lowest price. The band in the middle is simply the average of the other two. The Dongqin channel is an indicator used in market trading developed by Richard Dongqin. It is formed by taking the highest high and the lowest low of the last n periods. The area between the high and the low is the channel for the period chosen. The Dongqin channel measures the high and the low of a previously defined range, typically of the past 20 days. Dongqin channels are useful for highlighting trends as well as ranging periods when day trading. There is also the option to add a third line between the upper and lower lines. This midband is an average of the upper and lower channel lines. The indicator works on all time frames, such as 1 minute or 5 minute charts, in which a bar forms every 1 or 5 minutes, and it can be applied to forex, stocks, options, or futures markets. When the volatility is high, the bands of the indicator are positioned wide. On the other hand, when the market is calm, and the prices are more stable, the bands become narrower. If the price reaches the upper band, you have an overboard signal. If it touches the lower one, the market condition is considered oversold. The indicator does not include the current price bar in the calculation. In other words, if you choose to apply the indicator over 20 candlesticks, the bands are calculated and plotted based on the 20 prior candlesticks. For example, let's assume a trader is using a 1-minute chart and the highest price for stock in the last 20 minutes was $130. The lowest price in the last 20 minutes was $128. The indicator will draw an upper line at $130 and a lower line at $128. If a mid-band is added, it is drawn at $129. Now we will see Dongqin channel and trending market, but before going forward be sure to hit like button and subscribe to our channel for more knowledgeable videos like this. But before going forward let's see difference between Dongqin channel and Bollinger bands. At first glance, Dongqin channels and Bollinger bands look almost identical and they may even be perceived as functioning in the same manner too. However, there is a key difference between them, which is one that results in Bollinger bands being more complicated to calculate but also one that allows them to give more accurate feedback. The key difference lies here, while Dongqin channels plot the highest price and lowest price over a dictated period, Bollinger bands plot a simple moving average, SMA, for a certain period, plus or minus the standard deviation of that price over the same period, multiplied by 2. So friends, even though Dongqin channel is very good indicator in trending market but we will also add another indicator MACD along with it. Combining Dongqin channel strategies together with other trading strategies can decrease the likelihood of these false entry exit signals, allowing traders to form a more accurate image of future trading opportunities. Dongqin channel and MACD, by combining a Dongqin channel with an MACD indicator, a trader can match moments of price interaction. This will usually take place in the form of Dongqin channel entry points intersecting with MACD crosses, one of the markers used on a MACD indicator. This allows analysts to eliminate false negatives and positives by removing the non-correlating data and attain a better chance of success when moving on trade opportunities. Here let's try to match the moments when the price interacts with important Dongqin channel entry points in conjunction with MACD crosses. 
When we discover this correlation between Dongqin Channel and MACD, we would be able to filter the false entry signals and attain a better success rate for our trade opportunities. Dongqin Channels give you a simple way to assess two different types of information, volatility and potential breakouts. Volatility, is the channel narrow? If so, that tells you that volatility is relatively low. Is the channel wide? If so, that tells you that volatility is relatively high. Potential breakouts, when the price touches the upper or lower band of the Dongqin channel, that can signal that you should buy or sell. Now let's see buy and sell signals from Dongqin channels and MACD indicator. For by trade look at this chart as you can see price just crossed middle line from down to upward direction and at this point bullish crossover happened in MACD, but this crossover is below to zero line. So, we wait for MACD line to come above to zero line, so at this point MACD line is reached above to zero line and price in Dongqin channel started its upward journey from middle line. So we should take entry at this candle by putting stop loss at low of our entry candle or middle line and profit target would be 1 as to 2.5 risk reward ratio. Like this. And if you wish you can extend your trade without profit target and with stop loss on middle line. So at this point your extended trade also comes to an end. So, if you gotta buy trade with Dongqin channel and MACD, so now let's continue with sell trade. For sell trade look at this chart as we can see the price just touched an upper line and started downward journey and for double shorty. We can see bearish crossover below to zero line happened in MACD and as price reached below to middle line in Dongqin channel. So we can take entry at this candle by putting stop loss at middle line in Dongqin channel and trade for 1 as to 2.5 risk reward ratio. Like this. And if you wish you can extend your trade without profit target and at this point your extended trade also comes to an end by hitting stop loss. So, this comes to an end of the video, if you liked it, just smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more knowledgeable videos like this.